So I've asked you guys on Instagram if you have any questions for me and I thought I'm going to respond to them live this morning and make a little Q&A out of it. How tall are you? 5'11", which is 180 centimeters. Quite tall. So that's probably a tricky one to answer. Um, I was born and raised in Germany. I have been living in New York for the last two years. Um, my boyfriend lives between London and the south of France and since the pandemic kind of started, I have left New York. I live just in between London, which is here, um, Monaco, and go see my family sometimes. Are you an introvert or an extrovert? I think it depends on the situation. I, I like to entertain, I like to be social and I like to be around people, but then after doing that for a while, I like to have at least two days to lock myself in a room and just be by myself and have a little me time and just relax and not really speak to anybody. <laughs> is your hair naturally that straight? Yes, actually is. Name a place you haven't but want to visit. Um, I've traveled so much, but I've actually never been to Australia and I really want to go. What are you packing for? I am actually packing to go to Kenya, which um, I'm also going to do an episode about, so you have to stay tuned. I'm such a freak when it comes to just organizing. What if I need a black sock in three days? Do I have a black sock? No, I don't. Yeah, that's why my packing always takes a lot of time. I love everything active. I love skiing, I love water sports, but also love to just chill and watch some Netflix. <laughs> well, I intend to work out even when I travel, which is why I pack my booty bands somewhere, but I can't find them now. Um, but it actually gets really crazy sometimes when I travel so much um, that I don't really get to work out as much as I want to, but I try to do it twice or three times a week at least. But you know what? If I can't, I also don't beat myself up and um, rather rest my body and then you know don't be counterproductive do it properly do you like sports i love sports what i love most about sports is watch them go to the stadium drink a beer and have another beer in the end <laughs> favorite drink probably beer what's your favorite um favorite cuisine 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 <laughs> italian i love italian pasta pizza whatever why can't you cook? My mom's a very good cook. I never had to cook. I'm just not good at it. I'm not feeling it when I do it. And I've learned how to survive on avocado toast. Things that make you happy. Well, my family, CJ, and good food. <laughs> that wasn't cooked by you. <laughs> that was made by CJ or a restaurant. <laughs> or ordered online. <laughs> How did you meet your boyfriend? <laughs> so many CJ questions. We met in 2018 at the UNICEF Gala in Sardinia. It worked out very well. <laughs> do you want kids? Yes. How many? Um, I do want kids for sure. Definitely two, maybe three. I think it has been the best thing of my life to grow up with my siblings. Um, and kind of have them around, you know, as we get older, becoming best friends in life. And it's just been such a pleasure that I really want that for myself and my future kids. How many siblings do you have? I have three siblings, um, two sisters, one brother. I love them to death. They're my best friends in the world and I miss them a lot. So if you're watching this, I hope to see you soon. <laughs> Yes, um, my oldest school friends I've actually known since I was about 11, 12 years old. So we did the whole growing up process together, the whole, uh, you know, weird haircut phase. And I still talk to them almost every day. 
We have a group chat that we chat on, gossip on, catch up, even if we don't see each other every day. It's a very nice grounding um, base to have, knowing that you, when you go home, you always have your kind of core group of friends that are always there. What's your star sign? I'm a Cancer, uh, probably the most Cancer person that you will ever meet. I'm so emotional. I cry sometimes, sometimes a lot. <laughs> but also always want to make sure that everyone around me just feels good and fine and taken care of. And that's a very cancerian, cancerian thing of me. I don't know if you say that. Cancer thing of me. <laughs> What's your skincare routine? I think we might have to do a proper episode on that. I started modeling when I was just 18. I was scouted on a shopping spree with my girlfriends. Um, I was so shy at that time. I was um, approached by this really nice guy and he was like, um, oh, you're very tall. Um, do you ever, did you ever think of modeling? And I was like, no. But then two weeks later, we went to meet him again. He got together with me and my now agency and sat me down with them. And yeah, I signed my contract in November, 2012. Yeah. What has modeling taught you? A lot. I used to be so shy when I was a kid. I used to not even dare to go to the bakery myself and order a croissant. I used to have my mom with me at all times and be like, mom, can you just ask them if I can have a chocolate croissant? Um, I was, I was super shy and modeling definitely taught me how to deal with situations if my dad is not around to book my flight somewhere if my luggage is lost at chicago airport when i'm when i was 19 i'm like oh my god i had to now like tell these people with my broken english and that definitely helped my self-esteem and my confidence and i'm not that shy anymore i order three croissants these days by myself <laughs> career if you weren't a model I think I would probably be working at my dad's car dealership. Looks like I'm doing something very different these days. What do you want to do next in life? We've learned in the last couple of months how quickly life can change and how quickly your plans can just, you know, kind of being washed away. So my plan is to just get through this year and um, ask me again next year. <laughs> Obviously, the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show 2018, but I'm also pretty excited about the one that I'm going to next, and I can't wait for you guys to see.